All right, guys, hey, welcome to another lovely edition of On the Road with Joe. We're here today at Cisco Portland. Uh, Randy was kind enough to get us into their kitchen area, and uh, we're gonna go over why I believe cuttings are important. Now, if I've been out to your Opco recently, or in the last year or so, I say, I've been doing cuttings all over the United States, and the reason is because I believe this is probably the single most important thing you can do as a salesperson in order to attain that produce business that you're trying to get. We can all throw out price sheets, we can all throw out, you know, uh, various different reasons to go with, but to get your produce, that every single piece of it has a written spec, cantaloupe has a written spec, honeydew has a written spec, Iceberg has a written spec. Romaine has a written spec. Asparagus has a spec. Everything has a spec. To get your produce in front of your customer and to cut it in front of them, you're gonna win and you're gonna be able to prove to them why they should be buying from Cisco, okay? And I'm gonna have a video coming later that we're gonna actually go through how to perform a produce cutting, okay? But today we're gonna talk about why cuttings are important. Now, as you can tell, I haven't numbered these because I don't know that there's anything that's more important than the other one, but these are the variety of reasons why. One, shows commitment to your customer. We've all gone in and seen our customers. We've all gone in, grabbed the clipboard off the wall, written the order up, thanked them, grabbed a cup of coffee and got on the road. This one, we're actually gonna take 10 minutes with them. We're gonna take 15 minutes with them. We're gonna show them that they are indeed important to us. Okay, we're taking the time out of our day. You're gonna take your produce manager with you in a lot of cases, or you're gonna take me. If I happen to be in town with you, man, let's go do some cuttings. Uh, that's gonna show them that they're important to you. And the more you can build that relationship as that, uh, as that consultant that we talked about earlier, uh, as you can build that relationship with them, the more it's going to help you. And it's not gonna just help you in produce, it's gonna help you in everything. Uh, opportunity for you to show them that you are the produce expert. Okay, in this day and age of driver sales and all they do is hand off a price list and they may get an update here or there. Hopefully you're using our weekly market report. I believe it's the best market report to put together out there. If you're not getting it, check with your produce manager and please ask them to make sure they're forwarding it to you. But, but we want you to be out there and to be that produce expert. You need to be the one that tells them when transition is coming. You need to be the one that tells them when a market's gonna get hot or we're gonna be flooded on product and now might be a great time to switch to X because the market's gonna be full of it and it's gonna be a real reasonable price for quite a while, okay? And the last thing is, there are just too many misconceptions about using a local produce guy or going to say a restaurant supply store or even a club store. Uh, some of the misconceptions are, it's fresher if I get it delivered daily. Absolutely not, okay? Chances are it's the same product just being delivered on a different day. Whereas in most cases, your Opco is getting product that is getting two or three different shipments a week. And virtually every single time your customer is getting a delivery, it should be a new lot code. Uh, and there are so many other ones. Uh, your produce manager can go over them with you. Uh, but daily delivery is obviously a really big one. And again, we want you to get in there because as you're in there doing the cutting, you're gonna be end up talking about a number of different things, right? And this is a great way for you to investigate and dig deeper and find out maybe what more of their hesitancy is in going with you for their produce. And lastly, here's the one, right? You will win. I've done 41 cuttings this year and I've won 41 cuttings. We just did one recently down in Ventura, California. The product was 10 pounds heavier and it weighed, it cost $7.50 less. And we ended up getting four, I think it was, uh, no, pardon me, 11 more salads out of the box of Cisco product, which generated around $30, as I remember, in, in revenue. So we, yeah, we cost $7 more, but we generated $30 more in revenue. So actually net net, we made them 22 bucks. Uh, that's what happens with this. We can't let the sticker shock get to people. We've got to get out there. We've got to get the product in their hands. We've got to cut the product with them. We've got to have their people doing it. And we've got to have them take a look at what makes our product special. All right? Thank you all very much for checking in on this latest edition of On the Road with Joe. Get out there and have a great day.